We turn now to Mozambique, where provisional results from last week's elections give President Amanda Gebuzo and his ruling party huge leads for the huge leads rather. For the latest, we are joined by VOA uh, correspondent in Southern Africa region, Scott Bob. Hi, Scott. Hi. Now, uh, what uh, percentage of the votes have been counted up to this point, and how are the top contenders really performing? Well, Vincent, with 90 percent, uh, almost 90 percent of the vote counted, this is the preliminary vote at the, the polling stations. Uh, Mr. Gebuza is heading for a landslide victory with more than 70 percent of the popular vote. Uh, second is uh, Alfonso de la Cama of Renamo with about 15 percent. And third is new candidate, new party, uh, David Simango of the De Mozambique Democratic Movement with about 9 percent. Now, the opposition leader, Afonso da Cama, had hoped to lead his Renamo party to victory. What really led to his very dismal performance, as we can see? Uh, Renamo has been weakened by a loss of support, but also especially by the split with the MDM. Uh, Mr. Simango was a member of Renamo, but was expelled last year. He uh, was mayor of Beta, the second city. He ran for re-election as an independent and won. And so he then formed his own party, which took a lot of the uh, votes away from the Lakama's Renamo party. Now, last week, Mr. Lakama was reported to have said that perhaps uh, some uh, citizens might, in fact, uh, uh, maybe, maybe cause trouble or even revolt if he loses this election. Is there any indication, any word that there could be such a scenario? Well, there have been a few complaints uh, from some Renamo candidates in the north, and uh, there has been some complaints from one or two of the MDM candidates, but what remains to be seen is if they will actually lodge formal complaints or if this was just an attempt to justify their poor showing to their supporters. In a few seconds, how can you explain this victory by a huge margin by Mr. Gebozo? Uh, Fredimo has delivered uh, on some of its promises and it's promising to continue. Uh, there has been an improvement in health and education, infrastructure, uh, but Renamo has not been able to deliver and it's waged mostly a negative campaign just criticizing the ruling party. So it's a combination of that probably that led to this defeat. Scott Bob, thank you very much. That's uh, VOA Scott Bob uh, joining us uh, via phone from Johannesburg, South Africa.